Welcome to Pitch in the Zone, a weekly gathering of coaches that help one presenter with a three-minute pitch. Our coaches include Scotty Spursum, hailing from San Francisco. We have Rick Pollack joining us from Massachusetts. Normally, we have also Massimo Peroncelli with us, joining us from Thailand, and Michael Marchak. Michael cannot make it today. And Massimo, well, we'll see in just a second. But of course, one more coach, Nathan Gold. Nathan Gold specializes in high stakes presentation coaching. And Nathan is also going to do an event a little bit later today. He calls it just the FAQs. Think of it as office hours. It's 30 minutes where the door is open and you can just drop into Nathan's Zoom room, ask him anything related to presenting and pitching. We did the first session last week and Nathan on the fly helped two people tremendously. One person with framing themselves and putting them into the right light visually and the other person he helped fine tune the audio settings and both of them walked away with a huge, huge smile on their face. So if you do have time, stop by later on. It's at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, 12.30 p.m. Pacific time. And that gets me to our presenter today, which is none other than Massimo Peroncelli, our usual coach, a member of our core coaches team. Massimo has presented before at Pitch in the Zone. And so I welcome you back as a presenter, Massimo. Uh, you are going to present e Junkit. Please tell us who is the audience for your pitch today. Yes, thank you, Claudio. I would say something similar also to Kickstart, like a Kickstart and or let's say small angel investors because of the money involved. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Massimo. And you look like you are ready. You look like you mean business. Take a deep, deep breath and the floor is yours whenever you are ready to begin. Thank you. It took me two months to buy this TV, and now it's basically junk. But wait one second. Don't they say that someone's trash is somebody else's treasure? So I was trying to find a way to get rid of my TV and get something that I really wanted, but I couldn't find any way. So I told myself, Massimo, you wrote software for the past 35 years for companies such as BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Motorola. Just, just do it. So welcome to eJunkit.com. Imagine Craigslist with the Facebook user interface. You just scroll through items that can be yours. You check the pictures, maybe you like something. And in this case, you will see my TV. You will just press like. What will happen on my site? When I open my account, I will see all of your items. If I simply click like on one of yours, I can immediately contact you. Don't worry about privacy because you choose how to be contacted and we never sell your data. You see, this is way more than a barter. It's way more than a one-to-one -one swap because you never know what you will find, what you will like. It's simple, it's fun, it's magical. Of course, it's free too. So how do we make money? Well, mainly three ways. We have some premium services. For example, you do not want to see advertisements. Just pay a small fee. You will never see them. Facebook does not give you that option. We do. Then if you have a shop, you can place banners on the top of the categories. Or in the same way that Google does advertising, you can bid on keywords. 
So for example, you sell bicycles. Every time a user rides bicycle, they will see your advertisement on top of the search results. So what are we asking? Well, first of all, Injunctip is already incorporated in Delaware and the IP rights already belong to the company. And the Junkit works by zip code. What I mean is, when you look for something, first, it will look for either in your zip code, then in your area, then in your country, and then in the whole world. So pick any zip code you want. For just $50, we will give you 10% of all the profits from the zip code for a whole year. Then, of course, we have way more options. Please take a picture of the screen now so that you can ask me questions now or you can contact me later. Thank you for your attention. Excellent. Excellent. And you were right on time, actually. Very, very good. Very good. Uh, I, I absolutely loved how you used technology today, Massimo. I think you just set the bar to a new level. I particularly liked how your screenshots went from left to right and you moved along with it. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, definitely great, great job there. But uh, let me start with the feedback round today. Perhaps let's start with Rick. Rick, what kind of feedback do you have? And we are such a small group today. There's no need to rush. Go deep and let's see whether we can help Massimo really, really tighten up that uh, uh, pitch that we just saw. Great. Well, Massimo, great job. I know you talked about this a few months ago. And the, the pitch is very much improved. Uh, I agree with Claudio on the technology, uh, on how well it worked, o other than the audio from your microphone. And I know that's uh, <laughs> something because I had a little trouble understanding what you're saying with the static on the mic. But uh, I'll tell you some of the things that, that I really liked. Uh, you, you know, showed the TV and you said it took you two months to buy it. And now it's junk. So I thought it was a good opening because I think people can relate to that. It takes you a long time to do that. But, you know, you showed the TV from probably the 1980s vintage with the big tube and understood that. Uh, one thing when you said, you know, someone's trash is treasure. I thought you said that a little too fast. I think with the alliteration on that, I think you said a little bit slower. It becomes uh, more effective. Uh, but I liked also when you said, you know, I said to myself, Massimo, you wrote software for BMW, Motorola, whatever. So you had the humble brag in there, but it was also just looking at that and saying, yeah, it, it's saying that it, you can do that. And I, I thought that was a good way of talking about your background and, and that. Uh, also, you did a lot of comparisons to things people know. I've, I've heard it called anchor and twist, anchor to something they know, but here's the twist on it. And you started with the Craigslist with the interface. So I thought that was good. And then you also talked about Facebook ads and Google ads. So it really helps people relate. They say, oh yeah, I know how Facebook does ads. I know how Google does ads. I know how, face I know how uh, uh, Craigslist works. So I think that's good that you brought that in because people could really understand what it is, but each time you mention that, you put that twist in there, anchored them to that, but twisted, okay, it's better than Craigslist because it has a much better interface. And yeah, I like you had that thing on the right side of the screen and then on the left side of the screen, making it clear which was your your interface and which was you know the other person's interface. Uh, but also just in the whole sequencing and the framing of it, as soon as you talked about Craigslist, my feeling is, Craigslist not safe. I lose my privacy. There are stalkers out there. And as soon as I'm thinking that, you said, we have you covered on privacy. So I thought the timing was good on that. And then talking, yeah, it's private. You can see how people contact you. Uh, and then you talk about it does this and this and then, but don't worry, it's free. And I thought that was, that was good because you know, for the user, it's free. But then right after that, especially for the investor now, whether it's someone who's going to be putting in a few hundred dollars on Kickstarter or an angel investor, they're going to say, how do you make money? 
So I think, and the rest of that, just in the sequence was, you know, following how people would listen to what you're saying, think about it, what their objections would be or their questions would be. And the next thing you said, answered those objections or clarified why people you know, would be comfortable investing in this. So I think the thing about the, um, the ads and the banners and, and that I thought were good. Uh, one thing, and I, I remember you talking about this last time, sponsoring a zip code. And it was good that you showed the San Francisco zip code with the uh, with the Golden Gate Bridge behind it. You didn't put the wrong zip code in. <laughs> I assume you researched. Well, I googled that. I hope. <laughs> yeah, but again, it's just the little details like that that uh, people are going to know. Like if you put in a different San Francisco zip code, Nathan or Scotty probably would have said, "No, that's not the zip code for the bridge. That's that's a zip code for uh, you know for another part of San Francisco." Or, uh, so, but no, I, I know you did your research, and that that shows up that way. But my thought on that is, okay, well, I sponsor that zip code. Does that, you know, that means that no one else can sponsor that zip code? Am I correct on that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because I think that's something. So like you exclusive, make, just make that clear. So yep. it's, it's not like, uh, not like the producers where you own 30% of prisoners of love and you own 50% of that. And there, there, people have the, uh, uh, the different thing, but I think it's just more of, you know, how you're going to make money on this, but, you know, for the actual user, this is going to be safer than Craigslist. This is going to have a better interface. The ads aren't going to be as obtrusive uh, for the user, but for, you know, but you, they're going to show up and people are going to see it if you sponsor something. So, uh, yeah, I, I think the sequencing, the message, the graphics, uh, I think everything was great. There's really, you know, not too much uh, more that you would do. I think this is definitely ready for uh, investor pitch uh, for that. But great job, Massimo. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the tip for the thing is just yours. The zip code will be just yours. Yeah, I think that's very important. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent feedback as always, Rick. Thank you very much. And moving on to Scotty. Scotty, what kind of feedback do you have for Massimo? Yeah, Massimo, this was really well done. I, I got it. <laughs> I, and, and, and the other, the last presentation that you did was was okay, but obviously you've done more work on the interface, and you've already gotten the um, you know IP and the incorporation. So I thought that was great that you laid all those things in. Um, you know, Rick outlined many of the things that I had observed as well, so I'm not going to repeat too much. But I'll tell you that the the Facebook analogy was the one that really resonated more with me. I don't do a lot on any of these social network platforms and I, you know, we usually use next door if we're going to try to sell something um, or get information out to our neighborhood. So, um, uh, so, so I thought that was great. I mean, it, the simplicity of it, I think is really elegant. And um, I understood the opportunity for me to buy premium services and for you to get more, uh, you know, income regularly. And then also, um, the picture at the end. I mean, I think your call to action was take a picture and get in touch with me. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. So you're really looking for sponsors at the moment, right? For people to buy it to to from this pitch, you really wanted people to buy the zip codes. Yes, not at the moment because I'm still uh, it's like 90% done. But the pitch is for when the website will be 100% okay. working. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. I mean, I thought that was great, and I didn't. I wasn't quick enough on the draw to take a picture, but I wrote in my notes, I wrote in my notes that you could um, obviously spend more money and buy more of a percentage of different zip codes or bigger zip codes. Um, just one word in terms of, um, and again, the audio, I know you'll work on, so that that's easy. But one, one word, categories, is the major stresses on the first syllable. So it's category, oh. not categories. Oh, category, okay. It's category. Yeah, it's my Intel, in, Italian, yeah, influx, yeah, category, okay. Yeah, yeah I, just, I just was able to pick that yeah, one thank up. you, thank you. Yeah, and um, one other phrase that I thought was terrific, and I don't know if you might want to sprinkle it in a few more times, but when you said it, it was perfect. It, it's simple, fun, fun and magical, magical, and free. So mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought that was fun. I mean, it, it was playful, which I loved, so. And the logo, I think, has changed. It looks really great. Or if it hasn't changed, it popped out more to me this time. Yeah, it's a little bit different, a little bit better, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was terrific. So 
well done all the way around. I mean, it was well organized, well delivered. I think once you fine tune the audio, um, it'll be even better. Yeah, I just have to buy a real. In Thailand, is you can find anything you want from China, one thousand different bad headphone and microphone, but you cannot find a single good one. Maybe cloud and all some sources, but it's hard to find like any shop with real equipment. Yeah. yeah. What about an old fashioned microphone? Uh, yeah, I do have that even for singing a professional sure one. It's called sure the brand is like a very famous brand. But it doesn't work well with my computer. It's a different impedance, whatever. But yeah. 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 Anyway, no, it was really it was a terrific presentation. Really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Scotty. And it is so wonderful to have a language coach with us for those small, small little details about word stress and how do you say this word? How do you say that word? And I'm already looking forward, quite frankly, Scotty, to some kind of a program like the Accent Reduction Clinic or whatever that we could do uh, in a similar way that we do pitch in the zone for all those people like Massimo and me that certainly can help use help from time to time with our pronunciation. And so thanks for pointing that one out there, Scotty. Really, really greatly appreciate it. <laughs> now, before I'm turning the microphone over to Nathan, I want to give you just one small little thought, uh, Massimo, and that is related to the opening. I think your opening is okay. It's okay, but I believe it's that one part that you could make a little bit more inclusive. What I mean by that is right now, it's only about your experiences. But I believe everybody that will hear this pitch has been in that situation where they had some kind of a product that they spent their hard earned money on. And now it's literally not interesting anymore for them. Perhaps trash that can turn into a treasure. So rather than just telling your story, perhaps turn it into a question that leads to exactly the same kind of thing because we all have been in this situation. And I think you will resonate at a different level right out of the gate, all right? So just lean back and say, ask yourself, you know, how can I phrase this? And it may be the classic you know, have you ever, blah, 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 but have the same kind of message behind it that you had with your own story about the TV. Yes, All right, so let me turn it over to Nathan. And again, we have a lot of time today. So please, Nathan, go as deep and as wide as okay. you want and careful. Okay. You know, I don't know why you keep saying that we have a lot of time because I tend to coach for hour at a time or half hours at a time. So I only have like 10 minutes here. So I do know you and I know what you can do in three minutes. So okay. go for right. it. Massimo, here you go. So the good news is that after about 47 seconds and you started to use all the nice movements, I immediately started thinking of all of the junk in my house that I need to get rid of and I want to sign up. So I have signed up. So I want to, I'm going to own 94536. I'm telling you that right now. And, uh, and I have a couple of bits of feedback in that sign up process. Hopefully you'll replace that video on your home page that you see there now from last time with today's. Yes, yes. And then I recommend I don't I recommend a capital J in your logo. That's just me. Cuz yeah, other, yes. Otherwise with the can there I it kind of looks like a junket. And it looks like a word without that capital J. That's just my own feelings. Uh but well done on the sign up, very simple, easy, boom, nicely done. Okay. So one question I have for you is how do you feel about the presentation you gave today? I'm pretty happy about the 
technical visual side. Oh, I'm yes. sorry for the audio because it doesn't really doesn't depend on me, so I cannot you know, I cannot feel responsible for that. But ooh, to me I felt it was kind of rushed because wow. if I had thirty seconds more I would slow it down a little bit more. Sure. But I'm okay. pretty happy about that. Yeah, you should be. I, I would be very much so. I thought that the way you executed it the way you spoke, the way you covered the information is very close to an investor teaser pitch. The one thing that's missing for investors, I believe if you are really going to use this as an approach mechanism to get them to set up an appointment with you or find out more, is that uh, you need more proof points that this actually works or can work. Meaning, we saw enough about the product, we get how it works, beautiful, yep, makes sense. Now prove that it works, meaning how many customers do you have? And if you don't have customers and you're just going into beta, then make it about the people you've talked to, like us, who say, well, well I've talked to 87 people or blah, blah, blah. You need more proof points for them to believe this is more than just a product kind of a pitch, okay? Mm -hmm. But you did a great job with uh, establishing your credibility with the companies, as Rick said, with the humble brag. I was excellent with 35 years, BMW, blah, blah, blah. So obviously in that one sentence alone, you established tremendous credibility with all of us. And you will with investors as well. Um, what all of you don't know is that Massimo was telling me before you hopped on that he was trying to get some ideas from the Apple conference in terms of how he executed his tech today. I think you did it. I mean, very close. He needs a bigger room to do it the way they did it, but he, you did it. I mean, that was, that was one of the best technically flawless presentations I've seen using technology ever. Sort of a big company like an Apple. I mean, you're a one-man band there, aren't you? Well, plus two fish, but yeah. But plus two fish. Did the fish press any buttons or move things around? Oh, they moved around a little bit too. So tell me, what software were you using? How were you doing your technology? It's just OBS. Oh, it is. Uh, okay. Just okay. OBS good. and some you know, overlaying videos and layers. And just OBS. You did a fantastic job. I mean, you literally produced and executed your own three-minute show. And I thought it was outstanding. Uh, Thank you. Kickstarter software more. Yeah. I feel like you weren't breathing enough. You were, you were taking short breaths, and, and I feel like a little deeper of a breath occasionally would give you more of that deeper Massimo's voice that we have there, that we have experienced. Uh, your delivery very authentic today. Uh, the making the money, the whole money thing sounded cool. I was looking around the gallery here, and people were smiling when you were presenting, and we all know you, so that means that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Um, in the, let's see, I like your business model. I think the exclusivity option in the zip code didn't come as clear as when uh, Rick brought it back out and, and was talking about it. So that, I think that that whole approach might help you go more, more viral, more quicker or get known more quickly. Uh, the only thought I had in my head is, can you figure out a way, this is just an idea, uh, you can throw it in the garbage if you want. Figure out a way that I, who own 94536, or some of my, many of my local friends are also in 94536. It, have you thought of the idea of letting me share my zip code with them and let them be like me? So there's not just one exclusive owner, but a group. I don't know, just an idea. Because you've had 10 of us and we shared a 10, you know, the profit that whatever you pay us 10 ways. A little bit. Yes, there, there was actually the idea at the beginning, oh. thinking like, you know, asking for like $5,000. I said, okay, I'm just asking for 50 bucks, you know, like, oh. so you can get it all for you for 50 bucks. Yeah. Okay. If you share I'll... it, then it's. Uh... Oh, that's true. I could do, I could do that. I could go pay 25 and charge my friend 25 and just, okay. All right. Never mind. Leave it. Leave it well, the it's, way it's, it is. I mean, it's still, especially that side is still, uh, uh, it's still not written in stone of course sure and by but the way can... go ahead yeah i'm happy that nobody noticed that in the first line he says one zip code fifty dollars five percent i made a last minute change and nobody noticed that it's different here it says fifty dollars ten percent 
Oh, yes, yeah. fifty dollars, five percent. But oh. it would have been me finding the mistake in the slide, so it's not your fault. <laughs> An investor would catch that for sure. Yeah, sure, sure. It's just a last minute change. So. And then the last thing is, why don't you put a QR code on this screen and telling instead of telling us to take a picture of it? Many people do know that the QR code is scannable right from the screen. Mm -hmm. Other than yes, that. Yes, yes. Well done, super well done. I know that it looks like uh, uh, Scotty wants to say something else and we have a couple more minutes, but this is outstanding. I would immediately replace that video on your page with this one today. Uh, just really well done. Super, Thank nice you. changes. Thank you. Thank you. I was just thinking two more things. Do you have a um, looking for items wanted option? Because th that's more what I do is I'm usually looking for unusual things and I hate going to eBay or Craigslist. So whether there's a, a place to advertise, looking for, um, is one thought. And then also- a great idea. Yeah, I mean that, you know, we've been looking for some unusual old things. Um, and then separate subject on the last couple of slides as you brought them up, I, I now remember. Um, typically we put the dollar sign before the numbers, even whether it's dollars or euros, and you have oh, a sign. Okay. And okay. I think certainly for an, um, an American audience or, you know, European audience, yeah. it's, it's easier to see the money, uh, yep. Thank you. money that it is before the amount. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I live in a place where they, they write something like shop is open until 20 p.m which would confuse you a lot, but here, so I'm more confused that's about this. I know that's yes, right? but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but usually the dollars, well, are the dollar in Thailand, does it, is it the number and then the... the yeah, it's, it's, it's totally up to them. It's, it's, yeah. If there's something they don't agree upon is standard. It's really, it's really unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, one suggestion. So, I mean, I could understand it. It's not like the it, the meaning wasn't lost. I just think it would be easier to read. So. Yes, yes, sure. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. How was it? So the oh, only thing right. about the zip code, mm -hmm. the, the, the zip code is correct because I just Googled that and... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> very good, very good. Well. Massimo, again, I know you put a lot of work into this and you prepared extremely well for today. I think the feedback from all of the coaches that were here today is pretty clear. Your effort showed. You did a absolutely great, great job here today. Again, I think you raised the bar in some respect. I also loved how you used the clicker together with OBS. And I saw you actually even posted in Presento Zone. I saw it on the activity feed. Uh, so if anybody is interested in how exactly Massimo set it up, head over to Presento Zone's activity feed and have a read. And with that, I want to thank everybody who showed up today i want to thank massimo for a job well well done and again keep in mind in a couple of hours nathan gold will have his just the faqs an open door kind of scenario where you can just drop in and talk presenting pitching or just one-on-one -on -one communication with nathan and i know as a fact Nathan is always at his best in these kind of impromptu scenarios. So stop by if you do have time. And with that, I wish you a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. And we shall see each other again next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.